What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. Well, as you can see in the video, Kyle and I are figuring out where and how we would like to put our solar panels in this setup. So I have a space in mind, which is between the telephone poles and the support um, cabling that it has to the ground with the yellow sleeve over top of it, is the ideal place in my yard to place the solar array. So we're trying to measure everything and figure out the best way and the best setup to get it the most possible light and to consider different shadowing such as the house and the possible tree that is over there that you might have seen in the other video. So we've figured it out. I believe at this point, as you can see, we're starting to get a base layout of how and where we would like to put this together. Uh, and again, we just used pieces of wood that I had around the house. Uh, we didn't really have to buy much. I had scrap pieces of uh, 2x6. Now, again, make sure to use pressure treat it. That's going to be very important. All right, guys. As you can see, we're going to do four on the bottom and one on the top. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. We're just using uh, two crossbars with two support uh, pieces of wood. Those are 2x6s with 1x6s on the top. And then we're going to use these little clamps like we have right here to mount the solar panels. Unfortunately, the clamps I ordered are a little bit too tall, so I'm gonna have to get into uh, kind of figuring out that out, but we'll get to that shortly. Stay tuned. So as you heard in the last clip, we came up with a game plan. We're working on executing it now, uh, screwing down and clamping the actual solar panels and coming up with the best way to clamp them. The clamps I had did work by the time I was able to tighten them down. One quarter would sink into the wood and it would hold it just fine. I put a few extra clamps on the ends and kind of put them all together. So it was not a big deal for my situation. So I didn't worry about sending them back and replacing them. So it worked out. Um, something to consider when you guys are doing yours. Uh, because I have a lot of shadow, I went ahead and did the maximum 500 watts for the inverter uh, all in one setup that we did, the MPP. But you guys may only want to do 400 watts. It's going to be much easier to do a setup where you can just do two crossbars um, like I did on the lower half. And we were able to get the four installed very simply. The fifth one just was a third wheel. Uh, but by putting it on the top, I believe works just fine. And it will put it at a higher elevation, so in case there is some shadowing on the lower panels, I'll at least get some on the top part. And maybe because of uh, different trees around me or different parts of the year, <clears throat> the higher part might get a little more sun. So these are just things to consider uh, as you are designing and putting together your solar array. As you can see, we've got everything screwed in, and we go for the mount. Um, but unfortunately, the feet we decided <laughs> were way too tall. It doesn't fit into place. So we have to lay it back down and cut the feet shorter. I think we went with like two and a half feet, two feet um, legs, and we wind up reducing it down to a foot and a half. So there we go. We've got them cut off, and we finally got that bad boy in place. I know it's a little hard to see, but we got a late start and didn't realize how bad it was going to show on the camera. But uh, we're just now screwing in some anchor supports uh, to these two sides. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next videos.